I'm so excited to share some awesome keyboard shortcuts with you today. So we know you're building lots of templates in Seesaw and your students, of course, are creating amazing pieces of work. And we want that to be as simple, easy as possible. So we've created keyboard shortcuts, which basically means that I'm tapping keys on my computer in order to move things around on the canvas. I don't have to use my finger in most cases. So I've attached the key of keyboard shortcuts to the right hand corner of my canvas here so you can follow along as I'm moving things. I'm not gonna demo every single thing, but I'll show you a couple quick ones. And I am currently on a Mac, and so I'm going to be following these Mac commands here. But if you're on a Windows, you would just follow the Windows commands on this left side. So I am building out a butterfly life cycle, and I want to move some things around. I wanna make sure I've selected this hand tool here. And first I'm gonna start with the egg, my stage one of the cycle. So I'm going to select it, and then I just wanna move this down. So all I'm doing is tapping an arrow key on my keyboard. I'm not using my finger on the canvas at all. I'm just tapping this arrow key, and I can move it up, down, to the right, to the left. So I'm gonna move this down. This is the first stage of my butterfly life cycle. And then I wanna grab the corresponding label. So I'm just gonna tap this label here. I'm using my finger to do that. But then again, I'm just gonna move this with the arrow key on my computer. So you'll notice there are lots of different things that I can do according to these keyboard shortcuts. Let's say I wanna duplicate this label. All I do is click Command D. And there I go, I have another one that I can move around. Let's say that was an accident, I just tapped delete, it's gone. So I am able to do so many different things without really touching the canvas at all. I'm simply using these keyboard shortcuts. Looks like this label is in the front of my photo and let's just try sending it back. So I'm gonna click command and down arrow and that's gonna actually hide it behind my image and command up arrow is gonna bring it to the front. So there's so much I can do. Let's say I'm building this template and I don't want students to move anything. I can actually lock this label in place by simply tapping Command Shift lowercase l. So I'm gonna do that now. And now I've locked this label, it's unmovable. So you'll notice I didn't tap any of the three dots. I didn't have to unlock anything or move anything. I simply used the different keys on my keyboard in order to make all of this happen.